Welcome back to Dad's Fox Body Garage. It's uh, it's been a minute since uh, I made a video. Um, life got busy, and I also went on vacation, which uh, was uh, very nice to get away. And uh, saw some uh, practice laps down at the uh, Indy 500, which I will put those uh, clips at the end of this video. But I. Uh, I really don't have anything going on right now in the shop so I, uh, I was thinking why not put a video together on why I think the Fox Body Mustang is the perfect platform for old hot rod enthusiasts old meaning you know my age middle age and even young kids today um, still a viable hot rod these 35 years well some older than that right 40 years 40 some years old um so what i have for examples uh you guys that have uh, seen the channel before is i have my 89 lx 50 automatic which we call the stormtrooper on this uh channel and uh the other example is calypso here which is a 93 calypso green convertible um, so start with Calypso. Calypso started life as a four-cylinder automatic uh, car and I bought this one out of a field right so that's one way you know if you're just getting into the hobby you know you can get into it pretty cheap but it's gonna cost you in the long run right um, but I was attracted to Calypso because it's a, a, blank, a blank slate, right? Um, so let's say uh, I'm, a, I'm a teenage kid that just got a license. You can go out and buy a running, driving five liter Fox body, five grand. I see them on Marketplace all the time. In fact, there's a a kid at my daughter's high school that has a uh, black GT, the clear coat's coming off, but <clears throat> talked to him one day, he's a real Fox body lover, and uh, <clears throat> it's a five speed car, sounds good, he loves the thing, uh, you hear him leaving, you know, every day out of there, and he's revving it up, and is having a good old time, so... You know, you can get into the hobby that way. I think uh, young kids really like the uh, the old sound and the affordability and the performance, you know. Um, or, you know, say you're, you're just looking for a driver. Well, that's where I'd say the Stormtrooper's at, right? It's uh, not quite a show car, but this thing is gonna be around a really long time. It was a Southern car the underside looks better than the top side um, it's an original drivetrain engine besides the AC compressor um, that I know of is all stock uh, it's got the AOD and I did put a 410 rear end in it or 410 rear end pinion which I'm going to change to a 355 because although that's fun around town um, I like to cruise, I like to go see my buddy that lives out in Howell, and 410 is too much for the uh, highway. Um, but I do have, you know, lowering springs on this, and it's got the five lug conversion and the big brakes, the Cobra brakes. But this is another way you can go, you're gonna spend more money, but you could hop in this car and drive it anywhere. This particular car has 38,000 miles on it. It starts right up just like you know my daily driver car um, drive it anywhere runs nice and cool um, totally reliable so I'm sure there's a happy medium between you know this well your your entry level um, this car and this car there's lots of different levels but I think that you can build or buy a car at any level you want and enjoy these things. Um, Calypso, again, totally reliable. Driven it, well, I think it's about an hour each way to my buddy's house. 
no issues, runs nice and cool. Um, but it's a little rowdy, you know, and I do have a 10 gallon fuel cell and it burns about 10 gallons by the time I get there. But totally streetable, um, brakes are great, drives great, um, really no complaints. So, you know, you can build anything you want. You know, I built this exactly the way this is, right? Because uh, well, actually, if, if you've heard uh, the uh, Mustang Owners podcast, you'll know the story on this. But um, when I bought the Stormtrooper, you know, I had just sold a uh, Porsche Boxster that I built. Again, it was a salvage car, built the whole thing, it was convertible. And uh, I bought the uh, Mustang because I wanted to get back into Fox Bodies. And after a while of driving it, I love the car, but I'm like, ah, I miss a convertible. And I miss working on stuff. So that's how Calypso came to be. This is the, you know, as you can see from the engine compartment here, there's no extra wires. Um, very simple. Carb setup, wine blower, um, AFR, 185 heads. You know, it's very simple where and you look under the hood of Stormtrooper and... Uh, you know, she's got a lot going on down here. You know, to some, this might be like, oh, that's nothing. That's just the way they are. But to me, messing with that, that's not my cup of tea. You know, I'd rather, I'd rather mess with this and tune a carburetor. Even though we couldn't get my buddy Jason's carb working the other day, I think he might have a plugged air vent or something like that. But he's going to get that boiled out. So, anyhow... Um, I just think that these these cars are so versatile you know you can do anything you want with them you can just drive them you can you can hot rod them and just just straight out enjoy these things and and do anything you want that's why i think that they span generations you know from you know your 16 year old all the way into your 50s and 60s can enjoy these cars because uh these are what we grew up or this is what i grew up with you know and i'm in my early to mid 50s um box bodies were the thing you know i sold a 1970 fastback mustang to get a, a fox body wish i had that back but um these were these were the hot ticket back in the day you know they were you know we go down to telegraph road and you know drive spiritedly up and down telegraph road as uh teenagers and uh these and Grand Nationals, you know, were the things you wanted to go after. Stock Grand National, I used to go after, but uh, a modified Grand National would, would hand me my lunch. Because um, I used to race them, I think I told you before, I had a turbocharged Pinot, and then I had the uh, Fox Body, which I never did have the Fox Body with the blower. I built it with it, but that's a whole other story for another day. But uh, I think that's it for now. I just wanted to keep it short. My uh, assistants here are, uh, there's Shelby and uh, there's Bob. I think my assistants are getting hot. So uh, we're going to head in and uh, put our feet up. And uh, we'll see you on the next one.